Of course. So, you have got this super fascinating story <clears throat> of literally going from the streets to the stage. Yeah. <laughs> I live in Santa Monica. I've been to the promenade a thousand times. I've probably seen you perform. Probably. <laughs> How long have you been doing that? Um, I started pretty much um, immediately after moving out to L.A., which was about a year and a half ago mm -hmm. at this point. It was November, so almost a year and a half ago. <laughs> and you're still, I, I've heard that you're still down there periodically I'm from still, time to time. I mean, this whole, we were off for a couple months, and <clears throat> I was down there hustling three, four days a week usually. Um, you know, that's how me and my... Uh, brother and my boyfriend, we make our living that way, so mm -hmm. that's how, you know, we have to be down there, but it's been great since the voice exposure, because people are recognizing us, and it's been a lot of fun. The tips are going up. The tips, you know, they, right after my blind audition episode, we made more than we had ever made before, and then they kind of leveled out to, right. to normal again. <laughs> Is it like a community of people down there? Like, do you know all the other street Yeah, performers totally. Or? Yeah, no, you definitely get to know, um, you know, the other performers out there. You get your locals who come to see you. Uh, you know, the people that work at the different restaurants and shops on the promenade definitely get to know you, and different mm -hmm. people who work, you know, might work in the office building close, but come to the promenade for lunch, you know, you sure. uh, get to know you, and even somebody... We, we meet numerous people who walk their dog every day or, you know, that kind of thing, mm -hmm. who, uh, who become your, your loyal and it looks fans. Like you could make it, it looks like you can make a decent living down there doing that. I mean, I, when I walk by some of these people, they've got huge gobs of money in their guitar yeah. cases. And, <laughs> yeah, no, we, and make, we definitely make a living. I mean, thanks to, mainly thanks to CD sales, uh -huh. um, you know, we're, we're able to make a pretty, a, a decent living we get by. I'm guessing when you moved to California, you didn't expect that that was going to be your path. Actually, I did. You know, I, I came out to um, L.A. for a couple of meetings about a year before moving out. And mm -hmm. I stayed with my cousin who lived in Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was like, you should go check out the promenade. And walking <clears> down there, I saw all these performers. And one of the performers I happened to know through a mutual friend. Mm -hmm. And he you know, just talked about how he makes a great living and sells tickets to his shows and that kind of stuff. And so mm -hmm. I kind of had it in my mind that it could be something we could do. I had no idea I'd be able to make a living at it, um, let alone my boyfriend and my brother, too. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, we've been. No. Really what about before it. that? What were you doing before that? You said you just moved out here. Yeah, I lived in Massachusetts my whole life, um, and so I grew up in a reggae band, and and I played with my with my parents. Um, my dad, my stepdad started the group back in Dakar, Senegal, where he's from. Mm -hmm. Brought it out here. Met my mom. She joined the group. My dad joined the group, then my brother joined the group, and then I joined the group. So I was the, in that group until I was about 17, mm -hmm. then um, made my own album while uh, simultaneously teaching African dancing and drumming, actually. So there's a lot of different influences um, in my music. So. so where did you pick up? Along the way, somebody picked up the boyfriend and he joined the act. Yeah, he um, recorded my first album with me. He was the nephew of the women at the Institute for Musical Arts um, and they funded the album and brought him out to uh, record and produce and play on it and that's how I met him. And how long have you guys been together? together? We've yeah. been, we just celebrated our four year anniversary in February. Terrific. Yeah. Are there going to be wedding plans after you <laughs> and the boys? Um, I, you know, we're not, we're, we, we're not there yet. It's funny because we're getting to that age where a lot of our friends are getting engaged or even having kids and we look at each other and we're like we've been together twice as long as this couple why are we not talking about that but I, I don't know if it's a musician thing or what we're just seeing where seeing where life takes us we're definitely very you know committed to each other right now and and mm. and that's as far musicians as musicians just kind of take life yeah. one, one gig at a time <laughs> one gig at a time exactly <laughs> so what was it like growing up in a reggae band in Massachusetts it was so much fun I mean the valley where I grew up is in is totally musical community oriented and um and um the band that my parents had were definitely a favorite you know where i where i grew up and all up and down the east coast they toured uh, all the time you know when uh, because me and my brother were in the band of course they had to do it around our school schedule they were right. really you know, um it was really important to them that we had a normal life and but it was so great i mean i would bring usually get to bring a friend along you know down uh, down the tour, down on the tours and we'd head down to you know north carolina and stop everywhere in between and 
it was so much fun. I got to, um, you know, learn what it's like to be in a band and direct a band, and they started letting me sing my own songs, and, mm. and it was great, and I loved being able to play with my family. It was like, you know, every time, anytime there was any drama going on or anything, that all kind of, at least for the moments when we were on stage together, it mm -hmm. all dissipated. I would know? have never guessed that you were from Massachusetts. I, can, I could understand you speaking clearly. <laughs> well, I'm from Western Massachusetts, not Boston. Boston, not okay. Boston, Mass. Um, so I don't have the accent thing, but. <laughs> and you're not forced to be a Red Sox fan. Um. Well, I at my dad's house. I it was my dad and my brother and my two brothers. So I pretty much was forced to be a, a, a Red Sox fan and a Celtics fan and all that kind of stuff. All that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> even sports you didn't watch. Yes, even sports I didn't watch. It was it was all Mass. You know, all Massachusetts um, teams for me. <laughs> so, Monday night. Big time. Yeah. Are you ready? I am. You know, I, gosh, I'm just so blessed. I feel so blessed. And this whole experience has been so humbling and so eye-opening, you know. And, and as long as you stay open to everything around you, it's it can be nothing from good but good. Even the bad things, even the mm -hmm. battle rounds were, like, so hard for me and heartbreaking in ways um, you know, because I had to say goodbye to a friend. I felt like I didn't do my best in the performance. <laughs> da 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 da. But even that, um, in the long run, I think will um, help inform me. You know, definitely in the coming performance in the live shows. You know, I've learned a lot about who I am and what moves me and what's difficult for me and and how to get you know to kind of overcome whatever's going on for me no matter what I'm feeling whether it's nervousness whether it's physical whether it's mental mm -hmm. you know just make sure that whatever happens I can still have a good performance and I'm really working on that and so excited to have Blake as my coach and my other teammates are great and you know no matter what happens I feel really lucky and I feel um, confident in in uh, the ways that I've grown and the fan base that is expanding and in my team that no matter what happens next I'll definitely still be able to to pursue my dreams and and be successful at it so yeah. we wish you the best of luck thank you very much